Question 1. Write the following numbers in the expanded forms. So we have this as a first number and the way to represent them in expanded form goes like this. First of all, you write the number 2 and since we are representing it in terms of exponents of 10 and the power or the exponent can be decided from leftover digits. That is here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Therefore exponent that will come the base 10 will be 5. Similarly, we'll do for other digits as well. Now we are done for 2. We will write plus because ultimately all these terms will add up to give this number. So writing 7 into 10 raised to power and power will be decided from left over digits towards right of that number. 1, 2, 3, 4 raised to power 4. Again, we will write plus. Then we will write 9 into 10 raised to power 1, 2, 3. So three zeros. Again plus writing four ten raised to power two. Again plus zero. This time we have zero into ten raised to power one. Lastly, we will write plus four here into ten raised to power. Since we don't have any digit towards right of this number, that means zero digits. So we will write four into ten raised to power zero. That was your first. Now here. 3 into 10 raised to power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then plus 0, 10 raised to power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now you got the idea. You will write digit and if you watch it carefully then these bars are decreasing because numbers are also decreasing towards right hand side. So we have 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and 0. That second again 2 into 10 raised to power 6 plus 8 into 10 raised to power 5 plus 0 into 10 raised to power 4 plus 6 into 10 raised to power 3 plus 1 into 10 raised to power 2 plus 9 into 10 raised to power 1 and plus 6 into 10 raised to power 0 because towards right of this 6 we don't have any digit therefore 0 has to be written and what does this all mean that is when you solve this it will give you 2 with 5 zeros it will give you 7 with 4 zeros. When you will add them all, you will get eventually this number back. That is the whole idea behind this question. Again, how many zeros will come with 1? So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Therefore, 10 raised to power 5. And how many for 9? It will be 0 because no number is towards right of this number. So you got the idea. You can solve it very well. Similarly, for the last one, 2 into 10 raised to power 1, 2, 3, 4. Then 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. In this way, you expand your given numbers with base as 10. That's first. Second, find the number from each of the following expanded forms. In this question, we will reverse our pattern. In this, we are given with expanded form and we have to form the number. So it will become more clear that we were explaining in previous that how expanded form can be converted to number so first is 8 into 10 raised to power 4 so when you solve it you will solve them individually and you will put plus signs as we are doing here so let's solve first term these are terms individual terms they are adding up because you have already started in algebraic expressions in previous chapter that what are terms so 8 into 10 raised to power 4 will be 8 0 4 times therefore 8 0 4 times 1 2 3 4 now plus sign as it is 6 with zeros 3 time 6 with 0 3 time it gives 6000 again here it is interesting you don't have to calculate it anything multiplied with 0 will give you 0 4 into 10 is 40 now here it is interesting again 10 raised to power 0 any number except 0 remember it must not be 0 base must not be 0 raised to power 0 will give you 1 so 5 into 1 is 5 so when you add them up, do not add them separately on rough space, just count unit digits. So in ones digit here, 5, 0, 0, 0, 0, therefore 5 came. Now we don't have 10s here, we have here 4 and here 0, 0, therefore 4 came. Hundreds digit, 0, 0, therefore 0 came. Thousand digit, 6, 0, therefore 6 came. 10,000 digit, 8 came. So 86,045 is your answer for A. Similarly, we will do the rest of the parts. 4 with 5 zeros 
written one two three four five five with three zeros written three with two zeros written two into one because ten raised to power zero it will give you two so when you add it once we have two tens we have zero hundreds we have three thousands we have only five ten thousands we have zero and in lakhs position we have four so it gives four lakh five thousand three hundred two that's b three with four zeros written seven with two zeros written five into one is five remember even we don't have here descending order we have five three two we don't have one again four we don't have three raised to power three we have directly two and we don't have raised to power one this is just to puzzle you but when you solve it in previous question then your decreasing order will follow so five tens is zero hundred is seven thousand is zero ten thousand is three so thirty thousand seven hundred five is your required answer nine with five zeros one two three four five written two with two zeros that is two hundred three with one zero therefore thirty so you will get 230 in the end 230 and here as it is 9 and 00 as it is so in this way you solve your question with patience and finally you come to your answer that is second third express the following numbers in standard form so first of all what is a standard form well you have learnt in this exercise that we deal with very large numbers when we measure distances with planetary objects or it may be any other thing having bigger numbers so it is cumbersome to write such numbers so we try to convert them into standard form so standard form is nothing you just write the number to the base 10 so when you solve it you will get more about standard form so first is you just write this 5 because it is significant and it is followed with 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 digits that is you have 7 zeros therefore you write 5 into 10 raised to power 7 because when you open it you get it back how 5 followed with 7 zeros so it is 5 crore that's first second you write 7 and it is followed with 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 zeros therefore 7 into 10 raised to power 6 that is your standard form here now what are significant digits in this that is you cannot omit well these are 31865 you write it and put decimal after first digit from the left so you write 3.1865 into 10 raised to power 9 and how this 9 comes well it's a simple method you count first all the digits of the number so we have 3 5 7 9 10 and you subtract one from it you get 10 raised to power 9 or more deeply you can understand it like this wherever you put the decimal so you put your decimal here so all the digits towards right of the decimal will be converted into zeros so we have 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 therefore this thing into 10 raised to power 9 although you could also write it as 0.31865 into 10 raised to power 10 but that is not your standard form in standard form the number should be from 0 0.1 to 10.0 even 0.1 can also be included in that that's third fourth first of all you will write 3.90878 you put your point here and towards right of it that is this side how many digits are there one two three four five so you write 10 raised to power five so in general way we just say that you just count all the digits so three four five six and subtract one digit from it that will be number of power so we have 3 4 5 6 6 minus 1 is 5 and you put decimal after leftmost digit in this way you get your standard form by now you must have got the idea so let's solve for this well here is a trick we have already have decimal here but we have to put this decimal here in order to write it in decimal form so how we will do it first don't think anything just write this number you wrote 390878 and you know you have to put decimal here you put decimal here now you count digits from this decimal towards right hand side so we have one two three four do not count this this time because 
we are shifting decimal from here, not from here. When you solve here, it is understood that decimal is here. Although it is not written, but it is there because we can write this number as point followed with numerous zeros. Here again, point followed with numerous zeros. So in this, point was here. But we shifted point to here. So you count digits towards right of point. So right of point will be 1, 2, 3, 4. Not this one. So you write 10 raised to power 4. Or in another way, you can say it as this. Total digits from left of this decimal were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 minus 1 will give you 10 raised to power 4. That's fifth. Now sixth. Again, we have decimal here. So we will solve it in both ways. First solve it in general method. So you will write this number as it is. First of all, 390878 written. Now you know you have to put decimal here. You put your decimal here. This step is completed. We are still explaining process number one. So you will count all the digits towards left of this decimal. You have one, two, three, four. So you subtract one from it. Four minus one is three. That is, this is required exponent of this base 10. Now another method, you know, you put your decimal here. You have put your decimal here. Now count the digits towards right of it till you reach decimal. So we have one, two, three. Therefore, 10 raised to power 3. So in both methods, you can follow what it is best practice to follow that method which you find most suitable. So when you repeat such questions again and again, with clear understanding, you will get the idea. That's third. Fourth, express the number appearing in the following statements in standard form. A part, the distance between Earth and Moon is this much. We have to represent it in standard form. Now, you will get the concept in more depth in this question. So first of all, what are significant digits here? 384, you write 384 as it is. This is step number first. Now you know you have to put decimal here after leftmost digit. So you put here 3.84. Now you have to decide that what part should come here. So we have two ways. The first one is count the digits after this decimal that you have put here. The words right inside. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you write 10 raised to power 8. This is the method number 1. Second method is you just follow this much that you write 3.84. Then you count all these digits. If that doesn't contain any decimal, well it is understood decimal is here. So you count all of them. So 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 minus 1 is 10 raised to power 8. And obviously you have to write units, meter in this case. That's first. B. Speed of light in vacuum. Vacuum means where there is no air. In atmosphere, we have air. But when you go outside the Earth's atmosphere, there is vacuum. That is, no air is there. That is total emptiness. So we have this much meter per second. That is speed of light in vacuum. Now we have to represent it in standard form. What is significant digits? Significant means which has meaning. Only three. So you write three. In this case, it is understood that you put your decimal here. So no need to write it. It is 3.0. It is understood it is 3 only. So you put your decimal here. You count all the right digits. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Therefore 10 raised to power 8 meter per second came. Another method is this. You first write significant digit as 3. Then count all the digits. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 minus 1 is 8. From now onwards, we will solve using this method only. C. Diameter of Earth is this much meter. So what are significant digits here? These 1, 2, 7, 5, 6. By significant, you must understand that all the digits except 0. That gives meaning to it. Now you wrote this. You put decimal here in order to write in standard form. Now the step is to know how much should be the power of 10. So you count all the digits. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 minus 1 is 10 raised to power 7 meter. Although you could also do it with other method. Now D, diameter of sun is this much meter. So you write 1.4 because it is significant. Then for power, count all the digits 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. And obviously meters. In a galaxy, there are on an average this much stars. So quite a big number. So you write 1 because we don't have any other significant digit. Counting all the digits. 
1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 3 is a 12. 12 minus 1 is 11. So 1 into 10 raised to the power 11 stars. The universe is estimated to be about this much years old. Significant digit 1.2. Now total counting. We are counting it total because we don't have any previous decimal here. So 3, 6, 9, 11. 11 minus 1 is 10. So 1.2 into 10 raised to power 10 years. G, the distance of the sun from the center of the Milky Way galaxy is estimated to be this much. Milky Way is our galaxy in which our planets are located. And nearest galaxy towards Milky Way is Andromeda galaxy, just for your information. So significant digit is 3.0 or 3 into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7, 3 is a 21, minus 1 is 20. Therefore, 3 into 10 raised to power 20 meter. It is good idea to count in pairs because you cannot count it like 3, 6. That will take more time. Since you know these are pairs of 3, so just multiplication helps here. H. This much, quite a big number, molecules are contained in a drop of water weighing 1.8 grams. This you will study in the science classes. So significant digits, obviously, 60, 23. So you write first 60, 23, put decimal after 6 and all the digits. Since they are in 3 pairs, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 3 is 21, 22, 23, 23 minus 1 is 10 raised to power 22. See, it is very easy. The earth has this much cubic kilometer of seawater. Cubic kilometer refers to volume. Cubic means raised to power 3. It is volume. It is three-dimensional. So significant digits, 1, 3, 5, 3. Put decimal here. Count all the digits. So you do the 6, 9, 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. Therefore, 1.353 into 10 raised to power 9 kilometer cube or cubic kilometer. That is same thing. Last, the population of India was about so significant digit is 1.027 into count all these digits 9 plus 1 is 10, 10 minus 1 is 9. So, this much population was there in March 2001. Oh, you may be puzzled at how to see for significant digits. Well, it is not 1.0 because whenever in continuity you see numbers which are other than 0, that is significant digit. Like it is 1027 here, it is 1353 here because after this we have continued 0. Therefore, previous one was significant. So with practice you will get it faster. So that is last question, question number 4.